Holy moly, Bethesda has changed so many things without any notes with Update 26. Brace yourselves for another list of stealthy changes live with the new patch. Hello, hello everyone, welcome back to another Fallout 76 video. I've got another patch overview for you, filled with changes that Bethesda didn't really include on their Update 26 patch notes. A few days ago, I went over another 10 things Bethesda didn't exactly tell us, but they were more widely known. Some of them I covered in past videos, others were discovered by the data mining community, and so on. However, for this video, almost every change you are about to see is brand new. I literally discovered them or read them in the past two days apart from the new rewards. We have a lot to cover today and I highly advise you guys to watch because there's some really game impacting stuff here such as building changes, broken weapons again and a lot of confusion about a season 4 scoreboard due to several changes, additions and replacements. Anyhow, let's begin! As you may or may not have noticed yet, the Season 4 scoreboard received some major changes while well, compared to the scoreboard we had on the public test servers. I've seen a lot of confused comments around and I decided to organize everything and explain things in a simple manner. Alright, so first of all, don't follow the Season 4 rewards on their official website because the details there are not 100% accurate at least until this morning, they weren't when I last checked it. Secondly, keep in mind that Bethesda changed around 10 entries in the scoreboard. I came across this change list from the data miner Kraxil, but some of the entries there, which followed the website changes, did not carry on into the official servers. I cross-checked them all and only these are the real changes. I guess whoever added the season 4 details for the website followed the latest BTS changes or something alike. I'm not sure what went so terribly wrong there. But overall, guys, just guide yourselves through the in game scoreboard to avoid any further confusion because that's the accurate version. Just to make things clear, let me show you a few differences between the in-game board and the website one. For example, for a rank 100 entry, the website doesn't include the 500 free atoms anymore, but in-game, they are still there, so do not worry. I don't think they removed that reward, hopefully not. It's a pretty good one. At rank 93, the website claims we can unlock 9 lunchboxes, but in game it says 15. 6 more do make a difference, huh? So that's great, we are getting a bit more. Then at rank 87, the website claims we get 6 sugar free Nuka Shines, but in game it looks like we can only unlock 3 for this tier. Lastly, at rank 77, the website has 9 lunchboxes, but in game we are getting a bit less it says only three so yeah i hope now you can understand why the confusion is happening things do not match between two official sources and that naturally makes people wonder which one is actually the real one stick to the in-game board everyone that's the best thing you can do right now Okay, something else that might be confusing people is the fact that some things changed drastically in the Season 4 scoreboard. And I don't mean just different numbers for lunchboxes or Nuka Shines, I mean rewards which got removed or new ones which got added. First of all, the power armor display cases got removed. They have been delayed for a while now, as I explained in my latest stream, but as they decided to postpone this feature due to the negative feedback it received during the PTS about the way it works. Besides some minor bugs, the main issue was that it took too much storage place. I mean, just to display one single power armor set, players needed around 100 stash space. Yeah, it's way too much and far from being practical. Something else that got removed was the Dr. Bones armor display case. This one was a followed first reward on the public test server and for unknown reasons it also got delayed to an upcoming patch. It's a bit strange 
since the mannequins are working pretty fine and this is a variation. I mean, a scent. Uh, <clears throat> no, I mean, it's a type of NPC playing or pretending to be a display case. That's more like it. Anyway, Bethesda hasn't specified when are power armor display cases or Dr. Bones coming, but in my view, it will most likely be added to the upcoming season five, which should go live in about three months. But hey, who knows, maybe they will add it to the upcoming patch, which hopefully will come sooner. Let's wait and see. Now, let me show you the brand new entries. I'm talking about the dungeon wallpapers, followed by the dungeon floor and foundations. These entries were not part of the board during the latest test experience, but now they're free to claim. I think that's all the major changes, but if I missed something, feel free to share in the comments. Let's move on to some new rewards now. Daily Ops received a massive expansion with update 26, and that includes over a dozen of new items. That's right, as usual, Bethesda didn't provide the full list. They have only mentioned a few new entries, such as the covert armor set, but fear not, the data miner community has already updated their daily ops rewards sheet with all the information available. I'm leaving the link below the video in case you want to check the new drop rates for each entry and so on. Now, there were 30 new rewards planned initially, but one of them ended up being removed due to a major bug. I'm talking about the pumpkin crops. They were on the PTS shortly, but then they got disabled due to a placement issue. Basically, you could plant dozens of them in a very short space, like shown here in the screenshots. As such, they got delayed into a future patch. All in all, with update 26, you can get a brand new armor set, some old survival mode weapons like the unstoppable monster and the medical malpractice, as well as new decor. There's a Wenigo tube, a Brotherhood of Steel and Enclave medallions, and even science boards. As such, make sure to do not skip daily ops if you want to put your hands on all these new rewards. The treasure hunters also received an update to their rewards pool. I know Bethesda hasn't provided any details about what new rewards we are getting starting next Thursday, May 6. That's when the hunters will return once again, at least according to the community events roadmap. But this time they will come back with six new rewards to farm for. Here is the complete list shared by Gilpo. We have a few new decor items such as the Scorch Tube, a new Vault 76 rug, a new Nuka Cola clock and two balloon decor items, an arch and a bouquet. There's also the plan for a cursed pin roll. I can only imagine how amazing that weapon must be. Ha! Joking. It's probably weaker than my bloodied one. Anyway, that's everything for this point. Now it's time to step into unpleasant changes, also known as bugs. Ever since update 26 got released, players started reporting issues with their weapon durability. On the first day, I was a bit skeptical of such posts, but after playing a dozen hours in the past two days, I started to notice that my shotguns have been breaking way more often than in the past three months when update 25 was still active. I now need to repair my combat shotgun after about 100 kills, when before I would play hours along without it breaking once. But according to hundreds of reports, I'm not even getting it badly. There are lots of people claiming their weapons are now breaking much, much faster than before the new patch went live. I've also seen a huge amount of reports on fixers where players claim they are breaking after a few kills. It's pretty insane. Anyhow, from what I've seen, there are dozens of affected weapons. Some people even suspect this returning bug is affecting mostly explosive weapons though. I cannot confirm or deny this theory, but my shotguns are indeed explosive, so it would fit right into it. 
Well, at least Bethesda should know how to fix this one, since they recently fixed this weapon durability issue a few months ago. Now, it's back, maybe not fully, but it's affecting a lot of players, that's for sure. Meanwhile, Bethesda asked players to share feedback on the affected weapons and said they are looking into the reports. So let's all hope they manage to hotfix this problem as soon as possible. This next change is a quite disappointing one. You're about to find out why. Some of you guys were talking about it during my latest live stream, and I decided to check it out to understand if the change was real or not, since it's nowhere to be found in the patch notes, once again. But it is true. The fixed legendary spot inside the Enclave Research Facility is no more. But as they removed the legendary status from the resident Enclave sentry bot in there, it used to be always legendary ever since the Steel Dawn DLC went live, and for many, many months, it was the only fixed location to find a legendary. But now, it's gone. Our dreams have been shattered, everyone. It's time to return to the old legendary farming ways. Maybe it's time for me to make a new farming guide, actually. Hmm. Alright, where do I even start with this one? Apparently, Bethesda changed and fixed a lot of things regarding building, and none of them are part of the patch notes. They really love these sneaky changes, don't they? Anyway, thanks to Maddock Rod for sharing his knowledge here. I would probably not learn about the following changes otherwise. Let's start with the fact that you can no longer build gardens inside of walls without surrounding foundations. Before update 26, it was possible to remove foundations and have a plain natural ground surrounded by walls if you replace the walls into door frames first and then remove the foundations. If you did this, you would then be able to attach walls or half walls below the existing ones, filling part of the space the foundation was previously occupying. And that would allow you to plant veggies in the open soil as obvious. I even covered this trick in one of my tips videos a long time ago. Anyhow, this trick was old and it has been patched now and it's no longer possible to replicate, which means if you have such a garden, it is now a legacy one. Moving forward, Bethesda also changed the way stairs and even pylons work. For instance, you can stack stairs once again and build your stairway to heaven if you please. This one is probably a bug though, because it was live a long time ago, then they removed this option and now it's back again somehow. It's confusing. As for the pylons or bars, there was a trick using blueprints where you could place uh, them floating anywhere you wanted in your camp or shelter. Now, that's not possible to do either, but you can still stack pylons on top of each other and then remove the base one, leaving them floating regardless. So it's another change that makes very little sense. They fixed something and left another that basically creates the same effect. Yeah, not like this. Anyway, there are a few more changes, but that's all I have for you regarding building for the time being. The weapon sound bug has been around for a very long time, almost as far as I can remember, but with update 26, something triggered it so much that it's now happening all the time. Literally, I've been finding it everywhere, in queen fights, in earl fights, in daily ops, in random events, even at player camps. It's terrible because it produces this sort of engine like loud noise as shown in the footage. Keep in mind, I'm lowering the sound right now, but I can restore the normal sound so you guys can see how bad it can get. You were warned. Anyway, I decided to do some testing to get to the root of the problem and together with Maddock Rot, we discovered that this bug affects mostly heavy guns with the spin animation, like the minigun, 
Gauss minigun, Gatling laser and Gatling plasma. We tested over 10 heavy guns and that was pretty much the conclusion. But the bug only seems to strike when the user is just holding the gun instead of shooting. When you shoot, the bug disappears actually, as shown. The weapons also shake like there's some stuck part in there. I've already shared all the details I discovered in a Reddit post in hopes it helps Bethesda fixing this annoying bug. Meanwhile, they answered another related post stating they are currently working on a fix for this loud, loud issue. Until that happens though, I suggest you guys to turn your game volume down for the sake of your sanity. Talking about bugs, there's another old bug that recently went wild, oh yeah. The offline player bug is now happening very often. On Tuesday I had it twice and yesterday I had several friends complaining about how they were not able to access comms to speak in game or couldn't see anyone online in their servers. That's because this nasty bug is now happening more often for whatever reason. It used to be a very rare one in the past, but now it's quite common. First of all, it makes you appear offline to all your friends, and if you have any friends in the same server as you, the system will tell you they are elsewhere. If you try to fast travel to them, it will actually send you to the main menu. I had it happen to me in the past once, so I know what I'm talking about. Anyway, I was teaming up with Frin and Maddox here, but my friends list said they were in another server when they were right beside me. I also wasn't unable to speak, I even checked all my in-game voice options to make sure the push key was right and so on, and everything was fine. This is one of those bugs that makes you wonder if it's you or not. But no, it's the game, usually it's the game. So yeah, if you guys face any of these issues, make sure to restart your game as soon as possible. It's the only way to get past it. The last stealthy change I have to show you is more like a mystery. Thanks to Robo for sharing this detail with me, by the way. Basically, Bethesda added a white chalk and a ward on top of the water tank at the White Spring Station. You can now find RDM written on the top of the tank, and no, this was not here before, here's a comparison side by side, so you guys can clearly see this RDM was not here before. Anyway, what does it mean though? Well, in the gaming world, RDM means random dead match, which could be a practical joke from Bethesda's part, since a lot of people PvP around the White Spring Station, but RDM can mean a lot of other things. For example, in software language, it means raw device mapping. Also, a few people pointed out this could be a dev's name initials. There are many theories, and as just had pointed out, the deathmatch option is a bit too basic to justify this new detail here, but who knows, for now it remains a mystery. Anyway, I also discovered this water tank is super buggy, you can build over it, even put your tent inside or on top of the tank. Well, feel free to share your thoughts on what the RDM might mean in the comments below. We are close to the end of this video, but I have one more thing to show you. I didn't add it as a change because I'm not sure it is one. It felt more like a random rare bug than anything else. On Tuesday I was doing surface on air and a nearby fissure kept spawning scorch beasts non-stop. Literally, they were flying around us, there were corpses all over the place. By the time we completed the event, there were at least a dozen bodies at the fissure itself. I had never seen so many scorch beasts spawning from a single fissure in such a short period. It was insane. Just look at that. It's like hell open a portal there or something. I don't know. Anyway, that's it for this patch overview. I hope you enjoyed another round of stealthy changes. Some of them are pretty handy to know in my view. Well then, don't forget to leave a like and consider subscribing if you haven't yet so you don't miss anything. A huge thanks to all my supporters and I will see you all very very soon in the next video. Until then, take care, adios, bye bye!